up nerds? It's me Paul again. Uh, I think today's like a special episode because I want to teach you how to make the independent swizzle. Which is a swizzle by an independence. Yeah, I'm releasing it today because uh, guess what? Today is Trinidadian Independence Day and also Tobago because they're like a together nation. You know, it's like a union. You know, in doing research for this drink, uh, like a lot of guys are like, oh, I just had to make the independent swizzle. So I use white, red, white, and blue. Because uh, I think those idiots are this. I mean, this drink was invented to celebrate the independence of Trinidad and Tobago uh, from the British. And for some reason, uh, these morons think that the United States was the only place to ever become independent from anywhere, uh, which is uh, incredibly untrue. There is a whole other world out there, a world that makes independent swizzles. Uh, and also, because swizzles are kind of, you know, the mainstay of that area. I mean, they, you know. I don't really drink swizzles in the States. You, you go, if you go to like, you know, the Caribbean, you'll, you'll, you'll uh, be drinking a, a, a swizzle, mostly. Or at least at the time you were, probably it would be more, I don't know, the margarita really took over things. Independent swizzle. Said it a bunch of times. I know what you're thinking. Paul, what is a swizzle? And I, I'm gonna tell you, uh, you just, it's something you swizzle around. It's in the, it's in the, it's in the name. I don't, I don't know what you want from me. But basically, the idea of a swizzle, I should probably have uh, executed it more while they were drinking here. But, um, you know, you make a very low uh, concentrated alcohol, and you stuff it with ice, and then you just keep spinning it around, and then putting more ice in it, and then until like it, the liquid is gonna hit about the top level, and then you start drinking it, and you keep swizzling around while you drink it. You can get a swizzle stick to do that. I don't have swizzle sticks, because I almost never make swizzles until now. So I'm just using two coffee stirrers and then I can sip from the coffee stirrers. But uh, yeah, the goal of the drink is to get it as cold as possible, to get it and keep it as cold as possible. So you're gonna be spinning this thing around almost all day. Real great thinking thing, like if it's hot out and you're thinking, it's a lot like a mint julep actually. I gotta stop doing these like run on sentences where I don't finish one sentence and then I just start I like another sentence because I know that Sober Paul really hates it. <laughs> because then it means that he can't cut whatever dumb tangent I'm on. Um, but also, like, I guess, so I guess I'll do that guy a favor. So I'll try to not, like, end one sentence and start another within the same, like, not, I didn't even end the first sentence. I don't know, whatever. I don't even know where I left off, because I was, he was over, Paul. Um, but yeah, you swizzle it around, you kind of keep it as old, cold as possible, and you kind of keep, like, moving it around, you know, kind of the goal is to get like a frost on the on the outside of the glass where you're spinning it around so much. And also the alcohol in it is so, you know, concentrated, uh, you know, the flavor wise that, you know, you, all that spinning around, you're not going to, I mean, diluting it, that's not really the point because you're also kind of, you know, drinking water while you're drinking while it's hot is something you should be doing. So it, it, it getting diluted, you know, that's not your main problem. Uh, your problem is to get something cold and alcoholic in you. So if it gets a little watered down, that's, that's not your problem at all. But let's get down to making it. So what you're gonna need to make this guy is you're gonna need uh, dark rum. You're gonna need lime juice. You're gonna need a couple of shakes of bitters. You're gonna maybe have me make some eye contact with the camera. But before that, we're gonna need a little bit of honey. Um, I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's like a race car. And then you're gonna need some sugar. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, sorry, I've, I've, been, I've, I've mixed vodka and now this drink rum. Okay, so what the fuck else am I doing? Uh, all right, let's just, I guess, get started making it. Cause I don't know where else I was going with that conversation. Uh, so it's gonna be two ounces of dark rum. One. Two, two ounces of dark rum. Three shakes of bitters. I guess I'm doing that. One, two, three. Let's do the sh sugar and honey. I mean, you're gonna assemble all these ingredients first and then you're gonna stir them. So it doesn't really matter what order you do them in. So we're gonna do the sugar. Make sure this is dry, because you don't want it to get covered in sugar. I literally can't stop talking like this. It's really stupid. Okay, so that's a teaspoon of sugar. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of honey. Uh, you could probably do two teaspoons of honey. You know, if 
If you did honey simple syrup, which I guess I'm gonna link to right here, um, sober pole, if that's not too big of a hassle. If it's, if it is, just cut this out. Or, you know, leave it in and make me look like an idiot. I know you. I was nice to you earlier. You're gonna make me look, you're gonna, look, you're gonna make me look like an idiot, aren't you? Jerk. <laughs> I get it though. I mean, I guess, I don't know which one of us has the harder job. Drunk me or sober me. <sighs> it's probably sober me. So I did those two things. We're gonna do the lime juice now, because I feel like it. So that's half an ounce of lime juice. And then we're gonna pre-stir this guy up a little bit. I'm gonna use this bar spoon to do it. Just cause it's really efficient. That'd be real funny if I wasn't recording right now. But uh, you're just gonna, you know, kinda get that honey dissolved and as much of the sugar as you can. The solution that we have right now is gonna be entirely too dense to dissolve sugar into it. Cause it's mostly just alcohol and lime juice and then a shit ton of sugar. But don't worry about that because it's gonna self-dilute and then the sugar is gonna be able to be absorbed. But just get the uh, the honey absorbed now because you're gonna cool it really fast and it's gonna make it much more difficult for the honey to be dissolved. I don't know why I have to explain that to you. You should just not do things that I tell you not to do. I'm an adult, you're an adult. Just obey orders. And then you're gonna take some ice. This is uh, crushed ice. I don't have a crushed ice machine in my refrigerator. It like, dispenses ice but doesn't dispense crushed, which is kind of bullshit because I had like a... I used to have one from the 80s that did crushed ice, so I don't know. Anyway, so I just put some ice in a blender and then blended it up. I'm almost positive this is not enough ice. So I'm gonna have to do some more or fat. So yeah, uh, the reason you want to use crushed ice is again so that it can get as cold as possible. Uh, anyone with a science background will tell you that crushed ice has a much higher surface area, so that means that there's a lot more liquid to touch it, which means that it can get colder faster. Welcome to basic science. Uh, I was right about the ice. I'm gonna go make some more ice. All right, so I crushed up some more ice in my blender. Uh, and then you go like that. And kind of the goal is to just fill the glass up with ice up to the rim, like that. See how it's all filled up to the rim, like I just said it, it should be. I'm gonna take a two, two stir straws, uh, whatever you can, I mean you can use a coffee stirrer as well. I probably wouldn't want to keep putting my face into these, into the, uh, this much ice over and over again, but you can do whatever you want. Although coffee, like coffee stirrers like this, are super cheap, just, just buy some, because you're gonna use them for almost all your drinks. But anyway, the uh, goal is to just spin it around. From what I've read, the goal is essentially to spin it around, enough around until you start to kind of see ice forming on the outside of the glass, and that means that it's it means it's cold enough to uh, start drinking. There we go. Got a little bit of frost on it. I don't know if you can see that. So, uh, and then you're gonna put the garnish on after that. But you're gonna take a knife. You're gonna cut down crosswise on the line until you get a wheel like this. If you don't know how to do that. Uh, shoot yourself in the face because you're a moron. Just cut down a lime, you know? Don't cut it. Pretend there's shit in the middle of this. And then this is a lime and then these are the two sides of the lime. Just cut the center of the lime. And then, uh, normally what I would do is I would do like, you know, we'd like take this guy right here and then boom. Look, it's a, it's like a sexy drink. But if you have a wheel on it like that, that's gonna keep it from spinning it around. And that's kind of the goal. So what I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cut it directly in half and then I'm gonna Take these two halves counterclockwise, just shove them in there. So that if you can't have to keep stirring, you can keep stirring and then boom, they just travel with the stir. And then also they kind of add their lime flavor to the drink. Or you could just go with a wedge. I didn't try spinning it around with a wedge. I wanted something that moved around. Yeah, this is celebrating the independence of Trinidad and Tobago. I've literally never heard a bad thing about Trinidad in my life. Uh, so maybe go visit Trinidad. And uh, congratulations on an another year of independence. Also, I wanted to say that doing this show uh, is something I love very much. There should be a little thing in the corner saying donate to the show. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I have to put that up because I'm not making almost any money. By almost, I mean I've made absolutely no money doing this show. <laughs> I love doing it. It's expensive because alcohol is expensive. If you have it in your heart to donate, totally do it. Uh, you know, I'm not, again, I've, I've made, made no money from this show. Uh, I'd love to break even. Uh, I'd love to make a profit. But I, I'm, right now, I'm at the goal is to break even. Any amount of money that you, that you spend on this show will go to me 
getting cool ingredients. But uh, yeah, so it just cost, it covered the cost of ingredients and stuff like that, and me being able to test stuff out. So if you have it in your heart to do it, you can. Uh, if you like the show, but you know, you, you, you can't really reach for your wallet, and I don't feel, you know, don't feel guilty about it, because uh, you, I mean, I never do. <laughs> and uh, enjoy the drink. The only people who talk like that are people who moved here and think that everyone talks like that. Or, or people who like got kicked in the head by a horse when they were little. That's the only people who like, are like, what? Ugh.